In this video, you will learn how to run Python scripts in Android Studio using the Chakwapi plugin. In order for this presentation to be helpful, you should first have some prior experience creating simple apps using Android Studio with Java. It would also be helpful for you to have some knowledge of Python, but it's not necessary as we won't be getting into it in any great depth. Before we get into the video properly, just a little background on me, your presenter. My name is UC, pronounced UC. I have two other degrees in music education from FSU, and I'm a proud Seminole. I'm in the middle of a career change from choir director to computer scientist. I'm not joking when I say that I live in a one bedroom apartment here in Silicon Valley that costs $3,000 a month. That's why the salaries out here are so huge. In this video, we'll cover the following topics. You can see uh, that we're going to get into what is Python? Why would you want to use Python in an Android app? Um, we're going to go over what Python interpreters are and I'm we're going to introduce you to Chakwapi, which is an example of a Python interpreter. And then we'll go over how to install it in your app and how to run those Python scripts. Let's get into it. So Python is a relatively new programming language released in 1991. Um, Python's simplicity and elegance makes it a great choice for new programmers. Its ruling design philosophy is readability. In other words, code is easy to follow even for a non-coder. Python language is used extensively for machine learning and has many powerful libraries. Machine learning includes things like speech recognition, financial services, and even recommendations that Netflix serves up to you whenever you log in. The question is, why? would you want to use Python scripts in an Android app? Some reasons include, one, Python has a huge community of libraries to pull from, and maybe you want to use one or two of them. Two, you have Python scripts of your own, which you want to integrate into your app. Three, you just love Python and don't care about memory or APK size. Four, you want to make a small app leveraging Python scripts, but you don't want to make use of a backend server. That's the angle we're coming from here. Using Python in an Android app is made possible through the use of a Python interpreter. Python interpreters are available on multiple operating systems, which means you can run your scripts on Windows, Mac, Linux, and of course, Android. In all these scenarios, Python code is interpreted by uh, the interpreter, compiled into bytecode, and then transpiled into Java-compatible bytecode so it can run on the Java virtual machine. The result could mean hits on your app's performance and APK size. Normally, the best solution would be to let Python run in the back end and fetch it in the front end as an API. Chakwapi is a Python interpreter for Android Studio that allows you to write as much or as little of your app using Python as you like. This means it's great for invoking a function inside your app that makes use of a Python script to return a value. It's easy to install and use. So let's go ahead and check it out. How are we going to make this happen? Chakwapi can be installed via Gradle. You're going to want to open your Android Studio project where you want to run some Python scripts. And the first thing you're going to do is in your root level, build.gradle file, add the following lines of code. Feel free to pause this video. I'll just continue. Step two, in your app level build.gradle file, add this code. Notice that the apply plugin line has to be below apply plugin com.android.application and your build Python lines 
have to refer to the location of Python on your machine. The ABI filters are just enabling ABI for both your devices and emulators. And source DIRS is pointing to a Python folder in your app, which you're going to make. What you'll do is make a folder named Python under source slash main and put any Python scripts here. So now you've got Chakwapi installed in your project. Your scripts are in the app, so let's run them within our activity. Use this method that's on the screen, either in your activity or application class, to get Python running in your app and ready to execute your scripts. If your app will be using Python consistently across multiple activities, it's better to start Python in your application. Otherwise, start it in the activity that needs it. Here, I have an extremely bare Python script called hello-world-script.py. Finally, we invoke the Python function from within our code and get a return value as a pi object. The pi object can be cast into almost any type. There you have it, Python running in Android Studio. Python's true power is leveraged when it runs in the backend, but for cases like testing features, scripts, and other things, it does have uses in the front end. I don't advise you to use it in any commercial level software, but I would be interested if someone could prove me wrong. Thanks for watching.